Welcome to the Network Essentials series, your guide to understanding the fundamentals of networking. Today, let's talk about carrier aggregation and how it helps networking devices achieve better network speeds. Suppose you have a bucket that needs to be filled with water using the tube. Surely, you'll get that done without a problem, but if you were to have two tubes instead of just one, the task would be done in half the time. Essentially, carrier aggregation is what would enable you to use that second tube. Just this time, it would be all about networking. Carrier aggregation is closely intertwined with terms like frequency bands and bandwidth, as they are related to each other. So they too need a quick explanation. In networking, frequency bands refer to specific ranges of electromagnetic frequencies used to transmit and receive communication signals. Bandwidth is the measure of how much data can be transmitted in a given time that determines the speed of your network. In general, the greater the bandwidth, the more data can be transferred in a shorter period, resulting in faster speeds. Now that we have a grasp of these two terms, let's explore carrier aggregation. This technique allows networking devices to use multiple frequency bands at the same time, which helps the device achieve greater speeds and overall performance. It's important to note that this technique can be used only with devices that support it, and whether or not they support it can be easily identified by checking the device's modem LTE category. If it's CAT6 or above, then it's all good. But if it's below CAT6, sorry to break it to you, no carrier aggregation for you. While carrier aggregation can be used for multiple networking technologies, it's most commonly associated with mobile networks, like 4G and 5G. So it would make the most sense to provide an example within the context of mobile networks for a better understanding. Imagine there's a cell tower that supports three band frequencies, B1, B2, and B3, meaning that the cell tower can accept connections coming from these three frequencies. And you have two types of mobile routers, one with the CAT4 category and the other with CAT6. Since the CAT4 device does not support carrier aggregation, it's able to create only one connection with the cell tower using one frequency band. On the contrary, the CAT6 device supports carrier aggregation, which enables the device to connect to the cell tower using multiple frequencies, thus increasing the total bandwidth of the connection. With increased bandwidth, the device can double or sometimes even triple the speeds it would originally be capable of. We hope this explanation of carrier aggregation helped you understand it better. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to know more about Network Essentials, and leave a comment down below on what we could discuss next. See you next time.